Hey, my name is Greg. I'm the ski physical therapist. I wanna show you guys how to exactly use the ski simulators. to test it out, I'd really recommend that for you. Since we're here at SkyTech, I wanna show you guys how to exactly use the ski simulator. So I'm gonna take you through a step-by-step -step progression that I would take someone through. Um, but basically, the first thing I would look at is, are you able to just stand there, um, wait under both legs, and have like no pain? Well, if that's the case, are you able to then do a squat in your ski boots um, just on flat ground? If that's the case, well then we can progress that to the ski simulator. All right, so one of the first things I would do is put the boots on and then have the individual test out and see what does it just feel like on the ACL limb to balance um, with both boots on. One of the first things I would do is after the client gets their boots on is just have them do some weight shifting and just get used to the feeling of having the boots on again. So forward, back, kind of weight shifting side to side. And you don't want to edge the skis at all, you're trying or the boots at all, you're trying to keep the boots nice and flat. All right, now that the boots are buckled, we're just gonna go through that same sequence. So as I'm going forward, I'm feeling the pressure of my shins going into the front of my boot here. As I'm coming back, I'm feeling the pressure come off and then putting more pressure through the heels. As I'm coming to the left side here, I'm feeling the pressure on the bottom of my sole just build without my knee going out or my knee coming in. And then as I shift to the weight, I'm feeling the pressure off that ACL limb just slowly decrease and then increase on the opposite side. Just really getting used to fully trusting that leg with the weight, almost to a point where like, if you were to take that foot up and balance on it, they can. Then that's when we can progress into getting them and testing them to see if they can load the knees with a body weight squat. We don't need to go below 90 degrees. So the next thing we're gonna get onto the simulator and we're not gonna turn the simulator on yet, but we're gonna replicate the same movements just on an unstable surface of the simulator because the planks are gonna enable some unstable balance side to side. All right, so once you're ready to get on the simulator, you wanna step on up and it's best to have someone assist you just in case you fall over. But you're gonna grab onto this bar and you're gonna click into the bindings like you would with normal skis. We're just gonna first start by just doing some nice knee bends, um, but I want us to start by holding onto the bar just in case we lose our balance. You can squat through your hips where you're really hinging through there and feeling pressure on the back of the boot. But then I also want you to squat through the knees so you feel that pressure build into the front of the boot. Now, like right here, you wanna put that via right into the tongue of the boot, pushing there so it's gonna go forward. So not trying to edge at all, we're just going side to side right here, nice and easy. And if that feels good, then we can start just getting on edge um, while holding on. But just what does it feel like to roll on the inside edge and the outside edge? of both skis. So when you're going on the inside edge, you should feel that pressure on the inside of the boot right here. And you should feel that ankle roll inward, filling your knee dive in and your hip as well. And you're gonna come back to center. And then as you're going out this way, you should feel some pressure on the outside of the edge of this boot. Let's combine both of those so we can get used to what it feels like when we are edging. So you're just gonna go to the left, feeling that same thing. You want outside pressure here, inside pressure here, back to center, same thing here. So you want inside pressure here, outside pressure here. So once you're coming and you're tall standing like here, you really want someone to be next to you in case you do fall over. Because if you edge too much, you're going to fall onto the platform and having someone to catch you is really imperative. So again, just like before, we're just gonna start by doing some weight shifts side to side without putting the skis on edge. So as I put on this one, you feel that pressure build into the foot. As you come here, you feel that pressure build onto the foot. Same thing as on dry land, we can go forward and back right here. And then as I'm coming forward, I should feel that pressure into the front of the shin going forward. Now we can get into challenging our squat. So we're not gonna hold on, but we're just gonna try and get down into a nice athletic position and come back up. Just a little bit more challenge of balance because the skis can have a tendency to want to roll side to side. Both inside, both outside. And it's especially important when doing this one that you have someone next to you 
so that way you don't fall over. And try not to lean all the way to the side. You're trying to stay nice and upright over the skis as you're bringing the skis onto edge with the knees and the hips. All right, so one cool thing about the machine is that you can actually see your edge angle. So as I'm putting this right ski on edge, we can see that this number is increasing and then it's decreasing. And through the duration of when the machine is on, it's going to be able to track how much our edges are angled.